Hey, it's fitting I'm doing this review of this battle on the toilet because what could have been what a potentially one of the best battles I've seen this year, period, ended up in the toilet for so many reasons. First, let me see straight up, Dread St. Micah's family, period. But if I want any credibility, I'm going to have to review this battle straight up. So let me say this, dread loss, no debating. Couple of thoughts before the actual battle, though. Uh, I went to Creasy Liberty's first uh, uh, event at, at the last uh, massacre. It was my first time at the last massacre event. And the video and sound quality-wise of this one is leaps and bounds better. My God. The battle itself looked beautiful, the, the, so far the battles. Uh, shout outs to Creasy and Massacre Battle Association because the day of the event you were on Facebook on some, ooh, the devil is a lie. This is stressing me out, ha, but I shall not be moved, ha. The Lord will deliver this event, ha. And the event was delivered, no doubt. But I'm glad you did get through it, and I hope you continue to invest because NBA can pop off to be something serious. East City versus Caliber? That was a dope, dope battle. The atmosphere was dope. Just a couple of hiccups with the uh, people being having to told to chill out and shut up. But uh, those are minor things, and that happens at almost uh, every battle. Let's get to the battle at hand. There was a lot wrong with this battle. Fundamental rules of battle rap were violated that really ruined what could have been a great battle between. Seymour Green and Dread St. Mike. My dude not showing up with three rounds is unacceptable, St. Mike. You my man. But unless the battle was set up at the last minute, there's no defending, only showing up with one round. Always have to respect the culture. That's rule number one. Rule number two, keep your cool at all times. There were dudes, especially that one in the crowd that was over gas and stuff. Crowd should never be the focal point of a battle, but at the same time, Dread, gotta stay cool during those times. It's a lion's den sometimes, and you gotta stay in character. You got to, no matter what. I'm gonna address that fan in the crowd in, in a little bit, but as far as the battle, losing your cool like that, man, it sometimes makes your opponent look that much better. And unfortunately, I think you really did that. Uh, number three, if you negotiate a three, a three to one round battle, make sure there's a time limit. While Dredd spit five minutes almost exactly, Seymour Green spit nearly 15 minutes. Making it unlimited, he got his three verses in, three rounds. I can't feel bad for Dredd in the battle. It was booked for three five minute rounds. When you come with one round, you kind of leave yourself at the mercy of your opponent at the event, but still. Man, did uh, Seymour's go a lot longer than he should have. Number four, Creasy. I don't know if you have this rule, but in most battle contracts, there are limits. One battler can do to his opponent as far as being disrespectful. You can tap someone's pockets. Shout out to Joker Giles. I saw you tap someone's pockets the last battle. Uh, you could be all up in their face, all up in their ears, violating a man's space. But going up to another man, lifting his hat crosses a line that you should make sure it doesn't happen at your battles, bruh. Events get shut down for stupid stuff like that. Uh, when it comes, one comes to mind is when Sharon got slapped, the taste slapped out of his mouth by K Shine for messing with his hat. You do have to be built for disrespect, but there's certain lines that can't be crossed, man. Especially if you're a man. Like, no, no one, if I'm balanced, when no one's touching my hat. Facts. Now, as far as the battle in, in Dread goes, his, his, his voice and everything sound better and clearer than he did in his last battle with Sleep. Shout out to Sleep, by the way. I can't wait to see him jump back into the pit and, and, and battle again. I hope it's soon. I hope you're staying out of trouble. Dread uh, starts out with Seymour Green. You're about to see more Dread. That means you're going to see more Red. Y'all going to see more Dead. That's hot. He said you, you get the spoiled trial treatment any way, any time. You want it, you can have it. Like, he was on fire at first but i gotta admit dread man it wasn't polished two minutes in after after the bars you was doing on the, on the i said i said uh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on uh which to me was most disappointing part of the battle well maybe because if he would have if you would have had three rounds you probably would have gotten like the best most competitive battle of the night uh seymour green he went second he started off with a Wonder Bread scheme, which was good. Then he said, we ain't gonna go by Dread this round. You're gonna have to Dread this round. I like that. Uh, and, and then some bars were, were very basic. A setup for one bar was, when my gun drawn, they're gonna have to think of Saddam on some bomb-ish. 1847, spitting like you on your knees on some Quran-ish. My dude, bomb like Saddam and Saddam on some bomb-ish. Is, is so played out. But I, I admit, I have, I've heard worse. 
Uh, another bar you said that was questionable as hell, and like I said earlier, Dredd St. Mike is fam, so I'm not gonna focus on too much, cause it'll seem biased, but there was a couple of bars too that, you know, you had your people's gas and that was not hard, man. You said your bars ain't even NBA certified. How you think you got smack rounds? You better back down before you get fly swatted in smack rounds. I'll put two cans over your head, smack down. And fam, and the worst part is you tried to explain it like name dropping Stone Cold Steve Austin was going to make the bar hotter. I mean, you did have some fire bars though. The SmackDown one wasn't one of them, didn't like it. Maybe it's just my preference. But you have bars like, yo, yo you my bro, casket closed to where I'm from. You're going to have to pass a code. Like that was hard. And I know you didn't have enough, he didn't have enough time because he found out he was going to be a, a one rounder at the last minute. But if you could have condensed it a little more, I don't know. But the crowd, hey, the crowd loved it. Your peoples loved it. So, I mean, I guess you did what you did. But speaking of the crowd, fam, out of the 16 people you can see in that video, at least 12 of them were either Seymour Green's boys or they knew him for a long time and they were cheering for him. And there's nothing wrong with that when you go to a battle. That's part of strategy. You bring your people in. You pull them for your man. There's nothing wrong with that. But some of the stuff that happened was very, very problematic for the battle. Uh, this is both sides. Dread St. Mike's brother was breaking one of the cardinal rules of talking through Seymour Green's rounds. You know when you get into a battle, there's going to be some ish talking, but it becomes redundant when you comment after every single bar. Uh, Seymour more could have been like, I bake you in here for the bread, but I bet outside you got the toast. Uh, Dread St. Mike's brother would have been like, yeah, we do got the toast. It's under the passenger side, in the front seat of the car, and in the side of the end, far end of the pocket lot, parked right next to the Honda CRV. Come see these hands. Like, it's battle, and when you're talking like that, sometimes, you know, you got to know it's just a sport. It's just a sport! And my God, the gassing for Seymour Green's bars were like the likes I've never seen. The one dude in the back wearing the Adidas everything was was the one Creasy should have been like, like, hold it down, fam. Because he actually took away from Seymour's bars. Seymour said, you being raised by women, the mams and madams. He don't know how to deal with a man like Steve. It irks you. It's family matters. And yes, the bar was good. I admit the bar was fire. The bar was fire. It could have it almost maybe been close to Don DeMarco. It's one of his better bars in the battle. And the crowd popped for it, which uh, if I were there, I may have as well. But 20 seconds after he said that bar, my dude, you still in the crowd yelling, oh, 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 Did he do that? Oh, 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 did he do that? No, stop it. Did he do that? Oh, oh, did he do that? Oh, oh, Listen. Did I do that? Did he do that? Did I do that? You did that like four five, four times, fam. Like, it was mad extra. It, it, you, you, you overdid it. And you did that a couple times. He said, I got a gun big T size. First of all, a lot of other dudes, that's like, everybody says, I got a gun big T size. Stop, that, anyway, but uh, after you said that, he was like, oh, boom, big T size. Woo! Oh, my God. Watch battle rap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Watch battle rap. I, I would have went crazy over the, I'll noodle your top and have my low main rage a spot. That was probably his hardest bar in the battle. I, I give him props for that. But then he played Dread when he was like, you know why I like you? And then went to shake his hand and said, psych. Yo, bam, he made Dread look really bad on cam. But then again, the dude in the crowd took away from it again and almost got it brought to another level. After the bar, the man started, started screaming, like almost like instigating, like, difference is you got your soul snatched and sold the same day. Oh! Talk that shit! I love that shit! I'm mad, nigga! Psych, don't get me up. No! Oh! car f out of here and, and screaming like he wanted something to pop off like battle rap is a sport man you got to respect it as a sport it shouldn't get to the point where something's about to pop off and you and you say oh it's about to pop up it's about to pop off like man like anything could have happened that like night other notable bars seymour green had were like rookie mistake that's something out of the blue only took he would take like so, so Seymour came with more respect for the culture, and that's why he won by default. Dredd has told me that he wants a rematch, and Creasy, you'd be a fool not to book that rematch with all this backstory intention. Nothing, nothing, but I gotta fix that. 
I got fixed that son. Like I felt like I got jumped and shit. Like like I felt like okay. I got set up. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm gonna go back and straighten that shit. I'm gonna address that. Son, son say he going he he we chopped it up after he said he interested in making that shit happen again. I, I ain't gonna meet no one fucking one around next time. Fast. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. So this is the five o'clock shadow battle blog. I'm gonna be doing some more uh reviews of some battles. Hit that like and subscribe below. It's your boy Truth It. Aha!